hey guys hey everyone welcome to the camp guys welcome to the channel you know it's a girl twin d and if you never know now you know good morning good evening good afternoon good night good twilight good whatever it is where you are let's jump straight into your message this is going to be messages from your guides let's see what they have to say to us today our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Alright guys, let's see what our guys have to say to us. Let's see what our situation is, then we'll be looking at the energy surrounding our situation, and then we'll get the advice. All right, all right, angels and guys, what our what is our situation, please? What is our situation right now, please, Father God? Okay, three cards fell out. You got this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. And you have flirt extend your light-hearted energy to others so what i'm getting from this is that there are some of us out there who are doubting the connection who are doubting this person who truly loves you you have already met the romantic partner that you see there is some of us here who are it, it's like we're feeling like our situation it's never gonna work out it's never gonna come to be it's never gonna happen and that's your first mistake right there doubting thinking that it will not happen thinking it will never happen what you need to do is trust that what God says is what he means and it's what's gonna happen the feelings that you are feeling these feelings are real. The love that you're feeling for this person, they are real. And I'll be doing the Divine Masculine's reading on their channel. So you can go and see what their message is like later. On their channel, uh, Womanual. You can go to my page and you can see my channels. I have it there. You know? But you're being told to extend that light-hearted energy to others. So it's like the energy that you're feeling, the love that you're feeling, give it to others. And it's not only this person that you're in love with. Pass that love to every single person that you meet, every single person that you speak with, every single person in your life. Because you are at a point where you are ready for the love of your life. Where you are ready to welcome this person that truly loves you and you will truly love this person your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together so this is what you've been praying for this is what you've been looking for this is what you've been manifesting someone who can truly love you this person is in your life this person is in your life, and I'm getting that this doesn't even pertain to Twin Flames alone. Anybody. Anybody who has been having that feeling like how much they love this person and it's like they cannot understand why. But you're being told to extend that light-hearted energy to others, which is going to help to bring you and this person closer. You have finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So for some of you guys out there, especially the Twin Flames, financial issues are a factor in your life. So this depends on you working towards your financial goals or you being in a situation where you need to build on your finances. So it depends on your story. This is one of the things that you need to work on to bring your connection together, your finances. Whether it's finding the right job, finding a different job, starting your own business, whatever it is, but make sure you are financially stable. 
It was twin flames, God's servants, God's people. They are self-sufficient. They don't depend on anybody but God. And this is what you are supposed to be doing. So you see that that's a factor in your love life right now. And healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So there are some of us here who definitely have issues with our parents. Things of the past. Things that we need to let go. And this is an area where you need to extend that light-hearted energy to others. That love that you're feeling is not for you to keep on the inside. It's not for you to, to just keep it for yourself. It's for you to extend it to others. It's for you to give love and show love. Be love. And that is that trigger that's going to pull your connection back together. Let's see what the energy is surrounding this message for us, please. You have all tied up. Healer of the ages. So there's definitely some things here that we need to heal. Yeah. There are things that we need to walk away from. There are things that we need to heal from. The past, mostly. Things that may have happened to us. Things may have, that may have happened between us and our parents. These are things that we need to let it go. These are the things that are keeping us stuck. These are the things that are keeping us from experiencing that love. From bringing our true love towards us. Because this person can go about their business anytime they want. It's like a self-imposed prison, uh, tied up, tying up themselves. Like, I'm not going to allow myself to move from this path. I'm not going to allow myself to change. I'm not going to allow myself to heal. But that love that you're feeling is to allow you to heal. You may be seeing 555, and you all know that 555 symbolizes change and let me tell you all the time it's it doesn't mean that because you see the number it means it's pointing towards your person this journey is a journey of self healing yourself doing what's best for you so when you see your signs it's telling you what you need to do or what is being done in your life or what has been done in your life so there are changes that we need to work on within ourselves. Let me get one more. Community. For some of us with this community card, I'm getting that this energy here. It's like, I'm getting somebody here is like watching everything people do. Watching everything somebody, someone else does. What I'm getting is, is kind of like totally different from, from the message. But somebody here needs to know that you need to stop paying attention to what others think or feel about you and move on in love. You have your spirit guides that are there to help you. You have your guides, you have your angels, you have God. They're all surrounding you, ready to help you. Someone need to work on the way that they communicate with others. Someone needs to work on the way they express themselves. The way they show love. The fourth chakra. We are to understand that when you love someone or you love something, you should be able to release it. You should be able to let it go so that it is free. When you're able to do that, then you can truly say that you love someone or you love something. But when you hang on to it and you don't want to let it go because you're scared of losing it, that's obsession. You say you love it, but why don't you want it to be free? Why don't you want it to 
go and express its own self, find its own self, do its own thing. Why do you want to keep it locked up? Why do you want to keep it where you are? Is it so that nobody else has it? Is it so that you're the only one that can have it? There's a thin line between obsession and love, and we are to know the difference. When you're obsessed with something, you get angry when they do not give you what you want. You get angry when things don't work out the way that you want it to. But when you love someone, when things don't work out the way that you want it to, you try and understand. You try and see things from the perspective of the other person. You release them so that they are free to do what they want. Because if they truly love you, they will definitely come back around. In the middle is the door to spirit. This is the healing that you need. 1111. You see that? 1111. New doors are opening for you when you learn to release. When you learn to love, truly love. When you heal. When you trust in God. That's how you open the door to God. Through love. That's all you got to do to love God. Love others. And the journey. You're on this journey. You're on this path. And it's a path to healing. To changing. To welcoming God into your heart. But we have those attachments that are holding us back. And we are holding others back. Forcing them to be attached. Look, I spit it again. <laughs> forcing them to be attached to us. We don't want to let them go. You got to let them go, guys. That's how you show love. That's how you show love. Just know that this person is definitely the one for you. So there's nothing to be scared about. Don't hang on to those romantic feelings. Don't hang on to that person. Because you feel like, yes, 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 they're the one. So I can't let them go. They're going to they're, they're gonna walk away from me. That's when you let them go. When you see that someone is not happy. When you see that they're not in their right place. When you see that they cannot give you back the love that you deserve. You let them go. What's your advice for us Divine Feminines, please? Because you can't. Because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. This is my work on me, Twin Flame Oracle. When you want to know what you need to work on for yourself, you get this deck. Take that leap of faith. There you go. You got to trust in God. Take that leap of faith. Release this person. Release them. Because you can't picture this person with you if you let them go. Because when they're not there, you can't see them. It doesn't mean that they're not coming back. It's a promise to you. So all you got to do is trust in God. Walk away from disrespect. Disrespect is not acceptable. There are definitely some of us who are hanging on to people who mistreat us, abuse us. And some of us, we use the twin flame journey, the twin flame connection as an excuse. Oh, this person is my twin flame. I'm not going to let them go. But they treat me like shit. They ignore me. They block me. They say they don't want to talk to me. Oh, but I'm still holding on. Have some respect for yourself. Have some respect for yourself. And if this person is truly for you, they will realize their wrongdoings when you're not around. And that's the only time people miss you when you're not around. And they will see the errors of their ways. And if they're for you, they will definitely come back. 
How can you be holding on to someone who is abusing you and you call it love? This just goes to show you that there are things of our past that we need to heal. You cannot be holding on to someone who is abusing you. Do you like pain that much? Do you like to be abused? Is like is this something like you 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 hope to achieve? Is this your dream to be with someone who hurts your feelings every single day? This is a point I got to when I really 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 let go. I realized that I needed to respect myself. And in respecting myself, I am loving me. I am doing what's best for me. Release. That's the only way you will receive. Try to release, not to stay down. So it doesn't matter how much it hurts. Let go. It will hurt even more when you try to hang on. You, you, you ever been in a tug of, tug, of, tug of war match? Especially when you were children. And they're pulling the rope. They're pulling the rope and you're holding on to it. Holding on to it. And because you don't want to lose, you're still hanging on to it. But they're pulling you down and the middle of your hand, it's burning. It's burning. It's burning. But I'm not letting go because I do not want to lose. Until eventually, the rope is ripped from your hand. And it hurts even worse than if you had let go when you first started to feel that burn. You gotta know when to let go, guys. Show some respect for yourself. Respect yourself. And when you start to do that, Everybody else will respect you. So sometimes we go through a situation and we wonder why nobody treats us well. It's because we don't respect ourselves. It's because we do not treat ourselves well. It's because we put ourselves in situation where we are not respected, where we are not loved. We were always used, we were always abused because that's what we are used to. But today you're being told to respect yourself. You know what love is, so you know when you're not experiencing it. So you release. And that's the only way your person will heal to come back towards you. When you start to respect yourself, then they will start to respect themselves and respect others. Love yourself. Love yourself. How can you love others if you can't love yourself? How are you going to offer somebody love when you don't even express love to yourself? You don't even know what love is. So how are you going to give it to somebody else? And how are you going to try to give love to someone that's not loving you back? You're going to force them to love you? How is that going to work out for you? That's just going to end up in that tug and war match. It's just going to end up at the end of the match where you're the one hurting. Grieving is meant to be short-lived. So all that you're experiencing, the sadness, the hurt, the pain, the burn in your hands from holding on to someone. It's only for a matter of time. But if you do not learn your lesson, you're going to be repeating the cycle over and over and over. This person is definitely the one for you. The feelings you are feeling, it's real. But you need to extend it. Not only to others around you, people of your past, and most importantly to yourself. This has been your message everyone. To purchase your book or a reading, go to twindflamed.square.site for your protection bracelets, your money magnet bracelets, your money lip oils, 
your bath bombs. Go to Twindy Holistic Boutique. That's square. That's site.